Hello and welcome to Pyramid's report preview. My name is Jan Tensetov and I'm going to spend the next five minutes or so just sharing with you some of the highlights and key findings from our recently published report looking at long-term evolution devices and applications. LTE is, we believe, very much the next generation or 4G uh, network technology of choice. We see operators all over the world launching the technology, including GSM operators, CDMA operators, and even op and mobile operators who have invested into WiMAX. The key questions that the report addresses include, how large is the LTE opportunity and how fast will it grow? Which devices are available and which types will drive the adoption of LTE networks? What strategies are LTE early mover mobile operators adopting? Which applications will drive LTE? And will, will LTE drive the adoption of mobile video calling services? As in much of Pyramid's research, we see the adoption of new technologies depending on having three key elements in place um, in order to, to drive a complete value chain uh, forward. So that's the access networks, the devices, and the content and applications. And this is really the key to this report, looking at how these three elements are interacting, um, and particularly looking at the, the devices and the content and applications element. We've already seen over 35 network operators launch LTE in all regions, with the exception of Latin America so far. Um, devices are, of course, absolutely key in order to access a network um, and one point is clear is that LTE devices will always at a component level cost more than um, 2G or 3G devices. They have more frequencies to support. They need to support 2G, 3G and 4G. They need more processing power and so on. Um, but as we'll see more and more of these devices are becoming available and so the, the, we're already in, into the um, volume cost curve. And then finally, on the con content application side, um, the first point to highlight would be that, of course, LTE, um, with its higher throughput, lower latency, will um, make all or most applications better to use, will improve the user experience. But in particular, you know, applications needing those aspects, high throughput, low latency, particularly video, um, will be an absolutely key uh, application going forward, as we'll as we'll see. So LTE really addresses the key operator issue of mobile data traffic growth. The graphic on the left, I think, will be familiar to to many of you, um, just showing the uh, mobile operator data traffic and revenue growth. Um, clearly, mobile data is booming, uh, while revenue growth is actually slowing. Um, so there are, of course, important cost implications there, and this is a key, a key issue which uh, uh, many operators are, are having to address. And LTE technology is really um, a great solution for this issue. Um, it uses very efficient technology, OFDM, so it's able to deliver more data um, through the same amount of spectrum at a lower cost. And so, from a from a from an access from the access angle from the coverage angle, that's um, that's absolutely key. Within the report, we've looked at many of the early LTE network launches to date, um, just comparing different regions, different operators, different types of operator um, to give a to give an idea of the you know the access element. Um, and you know, we're seeing, for instance, tier one operators such as AT&T and Verizon in the U.S with very aggressive rollout plans, um, you know, with, with plans to cover uh, um, similar to 3G coverage within, within two years. We've seen other aggressive, such aggressive launches in other parts of the world as well. Um, we also expect to see a lot more wholesale approaches um, and network sharing in order to, uh, uh, for costs to be shared. And we've even seen some early launches, for instance, in, 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 in Uzbekistan and Philippines and some of the less developed markets um, and, uh, and, and done a bit of analysis on that. So 
So just having a look at the, the access side. On the devices side, this graphic is just to highlight the importance that uh, PCs have on in terms of the mobile network access. So they, uh, it, this is the example um, of Vodacom, Vodacom's network in South Africa, um, just showing how much more data uh, PCs use than, than any other devices. Indeed, um, you know, 20 times more data per month typically than, uh, than a smartphone user. Um, this is the key issue really in terms of driving that, what's driving that traffic. So even though PCs are perhaps less than 5% of the subscriptions on a typical network, they, they, can, they can take up 80% um, or so of the actual data capacity. Um, so clearly PCs are going to be a important focus um, in terms of the, the, um, the move to LTE. In terms of the availability of LTE devices, um, this graphic very clearly shows how more and more LTE devices have really become available throughout 2011. So, um, so today there are over 200 LTE devices available, um, whereas that was about 20 towards the end of last year. And that really coincided with the launch of Verizon's network uh, towards the end of last year, um, with the first smartphones becoming available um, and, and more and more other products becoming available. The majority of products today are still addressed at PCs, essentially. Um, so PC add-ons, modems, routers, that's, that's the largest portion of these devices which are currently available. But smartphones are really the, the, the big growth area and becoming more and more available. It's, uh, we've, done, we've done some analysis of the types of smartphones which are available. So there are about 30 models available uh, today, um, the vast majority of which are on Android. Um, they typically have big, uh, bigger screens than the average smartphone. Um, they have front-facing cameras. They have um, broad video connectivity capabilities. Um, and, um, you know, and, and we'll see more and more smartphones becoming available. In terms of the content, it's really video, which is, which is absolutely key in terms of LTE, we believe. Today, video accounts for around 40% of mobile data traffic, and typically more the higher speed network is available. Um, and this is very much driven by the user experience. So if a user has a good mobile video experience, that user will come back and use it again and will use it more often or will use it for, for longer. Um, so that is, that is the key driver in terms of pushing um, uh, video and therefore pushing LTE. One of the key video applications is, of course, um, user-generated content sites, typically uh, such as YouTube. Um, and we can see on the right-hand graph how, how mobile video is really uh, booming in terms of uh, YouTube access with um, daily views and doubling from, from 200 million um, in the mid, early mid part of this year to well over 400 million um, a few months later. Um, we see similar growth in other types of uh, uh, video services, um, such as uh, streaming services. Um, and we've also done an analysis of, as I said before, of, of mobile video calling services. And, and, and we believe there's, some, there's going to be some growth there as well. Um, because of the, the capabilities that LTE provides. So putting all that together, um, we expect that by 2016, there'll be almost 600 million LTE subscriptions. Um, that's equivalent to 7.3% of all cellular subscriptions at the time. Um, we believe that already by the end of this year, LTE subscriptions will overtake mobile WiMAX subscriptions. And mobile WiMAX has been around for much, much longer. Um, so really, LTE has a lot of momentum behind it. Um, we see operators with different network technologies moving in the same direction. Um, so uh, we see very, very strong growth there. And we see video, as I said, becoming a key driver and a key differentiator. So operators launching LTE early are able to provide good, strong video services, attract um, uh, uh, high-end users who want to use those services, provide a good user experience, 
um, and also obviously focusing on the on the PC segment and and shifting a lot of the migrating the traffic onto the LTE networks uh, and also being able to provide, uh, charge a premium for that um, for the higher speed and the better performance. Thank you for your time. I hope this has been of interest. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you want further details. Goodbye.